Hey everyone, so today we are going to do a first impression video on Clinique makeup. Now, I don't know if these are new products, but they are new to me. And so specifically, I was super intrigued by this. It says it's a face protector, but it seems to be a makeup primer that has a boost of SPF in it. I love the sound of that. I also picked up an eyeshadow palette that I've been wanting to try for a while. So I got a few new goodies in front of me. So let's just jump into it. Let's start out with this lip conditioner here. I hate the feeling of dry lips as does I think everyone. And I have not tried this ever. It has like really old fashioned packaging and it feels just like a comfortable, smooth lip balm. So like that. This is what I'm really excited for. So I love the idea of having a face primer with SPF in it because any bump of SPF you can get is a great idea. So this is what the packaging looks like. I have not tried this before. So we're just gonna give it a go. Oh, I kind of thought I was gonna have like a skinny nozzle. I'm going to apply some on my finger kind of flesh colored and let's just go for it. I am surprised that it looks kind of foundation-y and there was no color choices so I already off the bat don't think that this would be good for people with darker skin. I mean I'm assuming that it'll blend out but it is feeling like a foundation. It's a little tacky. It feels kind of tough to blend, but I did make the decision before I filmed not to moisturize because a lot of people don't moisturize before they put on makeup. And I think that it's a good review to not prep the skin with skincare because that could alter the results of the first impression. So, um, it doesn't feel amazing. I don't know. One time a friend told me that I hate everything. So that's kind of like stuck with me a little bit. So I'm like, wait, am I being too hard on this? I don't know. But it kind of feels like a little sticky, but like, I don't think I added too much. So let's just move on. The good news is, is that I do feel like my skin is protected. Although you do need a minimum of SPF 50 to go outside and to protect your skin. But like I said, a bump of SPF wherever you can fit it is great. Okay, so another product that is new to me is this Clinique Beyond Perfecting 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I got the shade 02 Alabaster, and usually alabaster shades are really light, so this is not super light. So just be warned that if you're buying online and you think, oh, alabaster, maybe it's a little lighter than the picture, it probably is not. So this is a very interesting idea because in theory, this is great for travel. This would be great for just throwing in your bag. However, it makes me question if the concealer will be enough coverage or if that foundation will feel really heavy. So I'm super interested in trying this out. For review purposes, I am first going to use a beauty blender on one side of my face and then I'm going to use my fingers on the other because like I said, this is supposed to be convenient and for someone who wants to travel with this or apply it on the go they're likely going to want to use their fingers okay so here is the foundation applied to this side of my face with a beauty blender my first thought is that it almost has this look of kind of sitting on top of the skin and it's kind of collecting near my nose here I'm interested to try the other side of my face with my fingers because that might amp up the coverage and maybe my fingers will help melt the foundation into my skin a little bit more. Okay, so looking really closely at my skin, I definitely prefer this side of my face over this side. I just feel crusty, guys. I feel crusty. I don't feel confident. I do not like the finish that this gave to my skin. It exaggerated my pores. It exaggerated my texture. It got really weird and bunchy in this area and like on the sides of my nose here. This isn't great. This is not great. But I am going to try to use this as concealer. So let's put it under our eyes and let's also apply this to where our blemishes are. really don't like this. I feel dry. I feel crusty. This isn't great. But it did seem to look better with the beauty blender. But still, like, you can see I still need, like an extra coat or two. <sighs> okay guys, I'm pretty bummed in this product. 
I'm sad. The reason why is, you know, I buy all of my products with my own money. And when it's in my collection, I do want to enjoy it. I do want to use it. And I always feel like if I don't like something, what do I do with it? Do I give it to my mom? Do I give it to my friend? I feel like at this point, I try so many products that I think that now it's kind of weird when like every time I hang out with them, I like bring a bag of stuff that I don't want anymore. For some reason, I get self-conscious of it now. So I'm like, damn, like what do I even do with this now? I would say that the strong point with this is that you could use it as a spot concealer because it's not bad as a spot concealer for acne. I just think that there are better concealers I have in my collection for that purpose. So let's just move on. I am going to powder my face with my Rimmel powder. I'm just going to apply it in the center of my face and also press lightly on any of the blemishes I have. For bronzer, I am going to use the Chanel bronzer and this is actually Le Beige's. So this is the regular face powder but I just got it in a darker color. And I'm gonna use this It Cosmetic brush that I haven't used in so long, so I actually forget how it applies bronzer, but we're just going to swirl it in there. Maybe tap it off a little bit and go all over the face. I am also going to do my brow, so I'm going to use this Dior Trio. And I have to say, guys, don't buy this. And the reason why is this wax, is beyond useless it does not do anything you can't pick it up on a spoolie it's just the weirdest thing but i do like the two eyebrow powders i think that they're a good color we're just going to lightly fill in our brows okay moving on i am going to apply this primer to my eyelids well, I am so excited to use this today. This is the eyeshadow quad in the color pink chocolate. And this has actually been saved on my Sephora Loves for so long. So I'm so excited to use it today. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And you see that they're labeled. That's something I really like about Clinique is they make products that are easy to use. And also they are pretty reliable overall. Personally, I didn't like the foundation, but that doesn't mean that someone else wouldn't like it. So I love the color scheme in here. So let's take off this plastic film and see how they swatch. Here are the swatches of the colors. I have to say that they did not feel super creamy. And what I mean by that is one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas is by Lorac. And if you're familiar with Lorac eyeshadows, they're really soft and almost squishy because they are so buttery smooth. These shadows do not feel that way. So keeping that in mind, we're just going to go for it. I do want to use this applicator that it came in. So I am going to take this palest shade and I am going to put it along my brow bone. We're just using this for fun. I like that color. Almost like Shroom by MAC. It's like a really pretty natural satin finish. I think that is a great eyebrow highlight. That looks really great. I'm going to go ahead and try to recreate this look here. So remember, it was labeled one to four. So let's just go off of what idea they had. It says that the pinky color should go on the inner half of the eye. I want to show you guys what the pan looks like after an application with a flat eyeshadow brush. So this is what it looks like. Just want to let you know. But the third step it says is to take the second eyeshadow here, which is like a satiny medium brown, and go on the second half of the lid. So you see I'm getting some fallout. On this other eye, I'm going to actually use the sponge tip applicator. So we're going to take this shade and put it on the outer half of our eyelid. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the darkest color and just repeat what we did on the other eye. I'm just going to diffuse the edges of both eyes with this fluffy brush. So I have to say that I'm really enjoying this color palette on my eyes. I also think that they are pretty blendable. Something to keep in mind though is that a lot of people 
judge an eyeshadow on its pigment. And I think that Clinique is a good example that not all people want that. Some people want shadows that are on the sheer side and blendable and more approachable and less intimidating than a palette full of really rich, deep pigmented colors. So I actually enjoyed this and I will use it again. I think that the shades are pretty. The shadows are a little stiff, but I think that this is a solid eyeshadow palette. I'm going to curl my lashes. The next product I wanted to try was this Clinique Quick Liner. So this one is in the color black, and this is so charming because I think at one point everyone owned this liner. The thing is, is whenever Clinique does a gift with purchase, I've noticed that they include this eyeliner in almost all of the gift and purchases that I have seen. I have used this before when I think I was a kid, but I haven't used it as an adult. So I'm super interested to see the pigment level and also how it glides on the lid. We're just gonna apply it on the outer corner of our eye. I'm also gonna run this just kind of on the outer part of my lower lash line to almost make my eye look wider. I'm really happy with how the eyeliner turned out. It didn't tug on my eyes at all, but it also wasn't too creamy. Because if a pencil is too creamy, it can get messy really quickly. But I think that it has a really solid formula because I imagine it's pretty versatile. You can definitely get a thicker application. It does kind of blend out, like I made a mistake and I kind of almost smudged it away and it's malleable and I think it looks great. So I will definitely be using this again. I really enjoy applying that. I don't know why, guys. It's just so charming to me. It like brings back really good memories. And yeah. So we're going to try this High Impact Mascara. And this is one I did use when I was younger. I don't remember how I felt about it. So we're just going to go for it. Okay, so this is one coat. I think it looks really natural and fluttery. So I wouldn't call this high impact, but I am going to see how it layers. A trick I like to do is blink when I'm applying the mascara because a lot of product gets on the lashes this way and it'll take you less coats than if you were just to go and kind of comb through your lashes. Also, rolling the brush is another good tip to get the most out of your mascara. Okay, so that's more up my alley for sure. So blinking while applying the mascara and also rolling, that's how I kind of got more product on the lashes. But I'm actually even going to go for a third coat because I like my lashes to have a high impact. So this is three coats of that mascara, and I think that looks great. It looks like I have more lashes. Like it just does. I wonder how long it'll last throughout the day. And that's kind of the downside of first impression videos, but in the future, I will definitely have to let you guys know updates. I'm gonna apply this to my lower lashes. So here is what the lashes look like after three coats. And I wouldn't say that this is a bad mascara. I would say that I think there are better ones on the market for a lot less. At this point, mascaras from Sephora, Macy's, Nordstrom, everything is getting so expensive these days. Mascaras are like 30 bucks now at some of those stores. So they have to be really phenomenal for me to justify spending that much. I really enjoy drugstore mascaras. I think that eyeliners and mascaras and even brow pencils, there are so many great ones at the drugstore. I would say with this mascara, save your cash. If you really like the way that this looks, you really want to use a Clinique mascara, then this is a good choice. But I definitely think that there are better ones in my collection. I realized I didn't contour, so I'm going to contour my cheeks really quickly using the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow. I'm also going to apply this Glossier Cloud Paint. I love this color. This one's in Puff because it just brightens up your whole face. And although it's like a bright pastel pink, 
on the skin, it just translates into such a pretty glow. Like, wow. Guys, you can really see that this side of my face looks so much better than this side. That is like literally crazy. But yeah, I love this stuff. It's so good. So last but not least is lips. And I can't do this video without mentioning Clinique Black Honey. This is an iconic lipstick from their line because it is described as something that can look good on everyone, which obviously in makeup is very difficult to do. I still have this on my lips, so I'm just going to kind of kiss it off. And I am going to apply this as I normally would with lipstick. And my preferred way is just to dab it. So I think that Black Honey does live up to the hype. I do feel like this formula is very comfortable to wear. Let's try to bump it up a notch and I'm going to kind of do a fuller coverage with this lipstick. So I think that this lipstick does cling on to dry patches a little bit, but I would say that overall, this is a really flattering color. And I love that it does suit a lot of different skin tones. I like how moisturizing it feels. It feels very lightweight. So I like the formula. I like the color. I think this is a very solid lipstick from their line. So this completes my Clinique first impressions and review. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I want to say that Clinique is a brand that I really want to succeed. I want them to succeed. I want them to be a long lasting brand because I love what they stand for. I love that they use clean ingredients and that their skincare and makeup is fragrance free. I think they have a lot of really solid products in their line. So even though I didn't love everything, that doesn't mean that you won't. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. Please let me know what you think down below. Do you like Clinique makeup? Did you grow up with the makeup? Please, I'm so curious to know. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.